Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I'm rolling out brand new DVD bundle 21, which consists of about 25, 26 songs. Uh, and for the amazing price, about $26. So that's less than a dollar a lesson. And when normally uh, I tab songs for, for, for people, clients, 15 to $20 a song. So... Let's just say, to do the math, as far as $15, what I normally charge for tab and fees, $15 times 25 that's $375, only 26 bucks. And here's the good thing, because I've had people uh, tell me, uh, is it possible to, get it possible to get a download? With this, you can. You know, you can either opt to have, have me send you out a DVD, which would be an additional $3.50 for shipping, priority shipping, or I can send these songs to your email the same day that you make payment. So, you know, that's a good thing because there's some people that, you know, they, they don't want to wait. I understand if I can get it today. Hey, I'm, you know, I'd be happy too. So let me give you the list of the songs. Number one, DeBarge, Time Will Tell. Just that song alone would be almost worth $25 a tab. And I'll tell you why. There's a lot of serious chords in that song. It's not a song that you're going to be able to pick up by ear. You can pick up some of it, but not all of it. And I uh, tabbed it off of professional sheet music, so it wasn't that I got off the internet. Some dude claiming to be in college dorm room tabbing that nonsense. Those sites are garbage. Most of those songs that are on those sites are not even in the same key, so you can't play along with the record. You know, and it's like, what is this about? So uh, that's number one, Time Will, Time Will, Time Will Reveal. It's a beautiful song. Gap Band, Outstanding. When I first was asked to do that song because, you know, I'm a big Gap Band fan. I'm like, I want to do as many Gap Band songs as possible. I always passed over that song because I'm like, I'm listening to it. I'm like, it's more or less a piano song, but I sat down and I did a good, good guitar arrangement on it where it sounds just like a rec the record. So that's number two. Number three, Slave, Snapshot. Love Slave. You know, those guys were teenagers when they were recording all that great stuff. The first album, I think, directed did that world-famous guitar solo on Slide. He was 17 years old. A teenager playing like a grown, seasoned man. You know, so I've always been a huge fan of Slave. And another reason why, because their guitar voices are very unique. You know, they are very unique, and I was able to sit down and nail it. So that's a great song. Especially a good song to have on uh, Play Play. Play on guitar. I thought I heard a noise. Anyway, number four. One of my favorite pop songs of us. I think it came out in the late 70s. Nicolette Larson, Going to Take a Lot of Love. That's a beautiful song, you know. When I think about music, it takes me back to a certain era. And it reminds me when my mother was alive. And I lost my mom in 2005. It's not the day goes by that I don't think about her. I still love her. Still miss her. And that song reminds me of the era when I was spending a lot of time with my mom. So it's a beautiful song. Number five, <coughs> BT Express. Does it feel good to you? Great song. T.S. Monk, Bon Bon V. Real cool song. And I, I love the lyrics. If you ever get a chance to listen to the song, just listen to the lyrics. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a great song to play. Uh, well, let me just say this quickly. There was a song that I was looking for for almost 11 years. And uh, it was called Human. Long story short, uh, one of my subscribers, because I put it out there, said, does anybody know the name of this song? I'll send you $20 if you can tell me what the name. And it was by T.S. Monk. It was on one of the albums. It's called Humans. It's a beautiful song. At the end, it had these kids singing the chorus. It's a, it's a great song. Uh, number seven, Cool in the Gang, Joanna. It's really good to be able to get the sheet music to a lot of Cool in the Gang stuff because their guitar player, God rest his soul, uh, another one that had very unique guitar voicings. And then they used a lot of kind of weird chords. And this song I got from the sheet music, professional sheet music, and I played it to the letter. So it wasn't, I was guessing or substituting chords. It's the real deal. Number eight, one of my all-time favorite funk bands, Cameo, Use It or Lose It. Number nine, Cameo, We All Know Who We Are. Number 10, Donnie, Donnie Hathaway, This Christmas. Everybody wants to be able to learn how to play that song. Number 11, Anita Baker, Lately. Then I'm going to start again because uh, I was putting them on discs. But again, if you want the download, you get it today. That's fine. Disc number two, Gregory Adams, Shake You Down. I have gotten a lot of requests for that song. It's 
It's kind of the Mandela effect. I thought that I did it and everybody else thought that I did it and I didn't do it. You know, so I did it, you know, and it's one of my most highly requested songs from my channel. That went in, uh, what was that, Cameo, Why Have I Lost You? Yeah. So Gregory Adams, Gregory Adams, Shake You Down. The Jacksons, Shake Your Body Down to the Ground. Number three, Janelle Monae, M-O-N-A-E, Tyro. Real cool song. It's one of those current songs. Linda Clifford, one of my favorite songs from the 70s. Runaway Love. Patrice Russian, one of my favorite artists of all time. Haven't you heard? I'm looking for you. Phyllis Hyman, Under Your Spell. Bobby Perfery, P-U-R-I-F-Y. I'm Your Puppet. The Intruders, Sad Girl. The Intruders, A Love That Is Real. The Intruders, Cowboys to Girls. The Intruders, Hang In There. The Intruders, I'll Always Love You. I Always Love My Mother. Actually, uh, I'm just throwing that in for free. It's a beautiful song. Uh, number 13, the, the Intruders. As you can see, I'm a big Intruders fan. Didn't that blow your mind this time? That's another free video that I threw in because I've done that one before. The tr Intruders, When We Get Married. And the Intruders, another added bonus. Uh, la, la, la means I love you. So, again, you get about 25 songs plus, I think, the three songs for only $26. That's less than a dollar less. So, if you order today and you request the download, I'll send you these songs immediately. If you want the discat, you know, me for you, me to mail it to you, uh, you can do that. But you'll have to add an additional $3.75 to be exact. That's what it costs me to send out these DVDs with tracking and priority shipping. So uh, these are great songs. People always ask me, how did you learn to be a musician, become a professional musician? And this is how I learned personally. I went to a music teacher who taught me. You know, I didn't get dribs and drafts from here like some people on the internet think that they're not going to pay nothing and just learn how to get be a guitar player by watching other people. You're going to waste a whole lot of time trying that route. It's a very long route. And it's not really going to yield any good results because there are just some things. Well, let me just say this. There's a structure to learning anything, you know. So when you jump in, you can't jump in in the middle and forget or don't know that there's a beginning that you haven't studied. And now you're here trying to get to here. And you can't get to here because you didn't start here, if that makes sense, you know. So, uh, you know, my music teacher gave me the foundation. And I have DVD lessons. Uh, well, I'm going to save save that for another DVD level lessons for another video because I'm about to reformat or revamp my learn how to play the rhythm guitar. And I'm probably going to post that video tomorrow, so I'm not going to discuss that now. But how you become good is you just keep playing and playing other people's stuff. And you see how chord progressions are in most songs and you kind of map out the format. Okay, in 50 songs, they use a lot of seventh chords and the seventh chord is a turnaround chord. In jazz, they use a lot of seven chord minus seven chords uh flat five chords you know uh in rock they they use what's called the power chord which is the fifth chord so the more you play music other people's music you become a better musician that's how i became a better musician that's how i was able to start tabbing songs songs i've never heard in my life that people send me all over the world say hey could you do this for me i pay you no problem i listened to it never heard it before five minutes later i got the whole song now you know, structure, because structure of song is extremely important, and it's just as important, if not important, and it will kill you in nonsense. People get mad when I make that statement because, you know, people have been trained and uh, taught a certain way that they feel that they have to rely on, on solely re on theory. Theory is important, but it's not as important that most would have you think. You know what's more important than theory? No, it's structure of song. You know, what is this? This is the first first. What is this? This is a B section. What is this? It's a uh, it's a modulation, which is meaning changing of keys. That's really important because that's how I'm able to dissect these songs for people that submit, you know, tabs for me all around the world because I know structure of song. I'm like, okay, how many chords are going on in the verses? Okay, is there diff are those chords different from what's in the chorus in most cases? But what's interesting is now Rogers, uh. Ray Parker Jr. and a few others started to do something that was kind of clever. They used the same chords in the verses as they did in the chorus. The only difference is they slowed down the rhythm. They switched up the rhythm, which made it sound like it's a different chord, but it's the same chord. 
things like that you learn when you keep playing. You kind of hear it and you come like, okay, I see what they're doing. Clever, you know. You know, so it's really important to, you know, learn songs, you know, and, and I'm making it easy for you guys because I've already given you the course. So now you just got to practice what you see instead of trying to figure it out yourself. What is he doing right there? Is that a G7 or a G minus seven? Or is it a major? Is it major seven? You know, so uh, I encourage you guys in order to get better, keep playing. And this is a vehicle to get you to the point of becoming better. You know, I'm much better than I was 15 years ago. And if I'm still around in 15 years, which I seriously doubt, and that's nothing negative, but, you know, it is what it is, I'm going to be better. You know, so again, uh, 25 songs, which I think I give you a few extra ones for only $26. If you want to download, just acknowledge that in your PayPal. My PayPal information is right here. So uh, once you say, hey, yeah, I want to download, or if you don't say nothing, I'm going to most likely mail it. But I'm sure most of you guys, if not almost 100 percent of you guys are going to want the download because you get it today. You pay today. You get it today. You start playing them tonight. You know, so on that. So on that, I'm signing off again. My PayPal information is right there. And uh, these are some great songs, especially the DeBarge songs. That's a beautiful song. I mean, as you get older and you start to learn more musically, you appreciate the artists that you listen to even more so because now you realize how clever and talented these people are. They're not just throwing two chord songs that you like these songs of the day. Three chords, that's it. You know, back in the 80s on back because it kind of to me fell off in the late 90s. When 2000 rolled around, it just got real watered down. It's like, okay, but I'm not going to really get into that because that's a whole nother topic and I'm not here today to talk about that. I might do another video talking about that, but right now I'm talking about DVD bundle, 21, brand new, 25 songs <coughs> for only $26. That's, that's, actually, it is a dollar lesson. You know, well, actually, well, I'm going to shut it off here because I can just keep going. So until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.